everyone, it's Ezra. If this is a brand new Sunday Spotlight, today I'm talking about Meg Ryan. I don't know how many of you know her, but she was pretty famous back in the 90s. I decided to pick her because she has a lot of films that I love and I wanted to show you my collection. So let's go. Okay, last week for Sunday Spotlight I did Kevin Bacon, so I have to connect him to Meg Ryan. Kevin Bacon was in Crazy Stupid Love and who was in that? Uh, Steve Carell was in that. So then Steve Carell was in The 40 Year Old Version with, uh, who was in that? Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd is in that. Paul Rudd was in, um, oh, he was in Stuck. Okay, I've got a link. Okay. Paul Rudd, it's sort of a long link. I'm sure there's a shorter one here somewhere, but okay. Paul Rudd was in Our Idiot Brother with Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones was in Cuban Fury with Nick Frost. And Nick Frost was in Paul with Bill Hader. And Bill Hader is in Adventureland with Kristen Stewart. And Kristen Stewart was in In the Land of Women with Meg Ryan. Okay, that took a really long time, but I did it! Meg Ryan is an American actress and she got her start when she was in her teenage years. She became this girl that America loves, America's sweetheart. One of the most famous films that she was in that people know is When Harry Met Sally and I love this movie. It stars Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal and it's just about, it's a romantic comedy from Nora Ephron who is like the queen of romantic comedies bless her heart. It was really funny, it was really sweet, it's about this, uh, these best friends who are sort of on and off and, and see each other throughout the years and kind of develop this bond and, and things happen and tear them apart, you know, the typical stuff. But I love this movie, it's really sweet and Meg Ryan, she's just very real and something that people love about her and it's actually listed as a trademark on Internet Movie Database is that she has this kind of walk that's kind of, um, it's not just like a prissy walk, she just kind of walks, you know, comfortably and it's just really endearing and I love her in this movie. But I can't make a Meg Ryan uh, video without mentioning her partner in crime and that is Tom Hanks. Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks have done three films together, which is more than most co-stars get in a lifetime. So when they first did this movie together, again, this is Nora Ephron. It was a hit. Everybody loved it. It's Sleepless in Seattle and you should all know about this film. They don't even hook up, so to speak. It's kind of just them admiring each other from afar and how that connects them and, and how things unravel. And uh, he's got a son and um, his son kind of meddles with the system to get them to kind of meet. And it's just really sweet how it plays out. I can't spoil it for you, but it's definitely my top five all-time favorite rom-coms ever. Just because it's so... you just feel like you want them to be together so much and they don't even have more than a couple of scenes together. So that's the power of Nora Ephron. You definitely have to see this. If you want to be a Meg Ryan fan, see this first. Before Sleepless in Seattle, Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks did have a film together called Joe vs. the Volcano, which I still don't have on DVD, but I have seen it and it's kind of a strange movie, but that, that was the first time that they worked together. You could tell right off the bat that they were just perfect on screen together and it's kind of um, just a movie about this guy who sort of hit the peak of his um, job. He's really bored. He wants to go on an adventure and he goes to some tropical island and he meets a girl and they're just really cute. They're both very young in that film. A few years later we had another blessing and that was You've Got Mail, again starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. And the last 10 minutes of this movie just... I freak out. The whole idea is that they hate each other. So that's with any romantic comedy trope. They hate each other at the beginning and yet they fall in love online uh, through email. So this was like 1991 or something and they were still emailing. But they don't know that they're um, emailing each other but 
of course they're meant to be and the way that it's revealed as it goes on is just so wonderful to watch and I, I love watching this movie. Again, this is directed by Nora Ephron. She is a genius. Moving on, there is another movie that people often forget about that Meg Ryan was in and that is my favourite uh, non-Disney animation which is Anastasia. I got it in a two-pack with Thumbelina, also a good movie, but I love Anastasia and Meg Ryan plays her voice, her speaking voice. If you haven't seen Anastasia, she is basically a the lost Russian princess. She ends up at an orphanage because she was separated from her family when she was young because of uh, a war that was happening and she does not even know that she's a princess but she is this very spunky feisty um, girl and I think Meg Ryan's performance vocally is just really really nice and calming to listen to so I absolutely love Anastasia definitely check that out just a few other DVDs I have they're a bit random it's called Kate and Leopold uh, with Hugh Jackman it is not the best movie but it is Meg Ryan it's sort of mid-millennium and it's just a sweet rom-com all around. I love it. It's kind of, he plays a prince from a different era. So it's just kind of a weird fantasy kind of rom-com. But I still love it. And last but not least, I have this movie. It's called In the Land of Women. It's probably a pretty bad film. But I think the mother-daughter dynamic works really well. They both kind of fall for the same guy. And it's just about, um, well, it got really dark. Sorry about that. Those are all the Meg Ryan films I have. Overall, I really like her aesthetic. I think she's really down to earth and she is doing a lot of charitable things at the moment. She supports maybe more than six or seven charities. She's always at those, see, the sun came, the sun came back up. There we go. I always see her at different galas and events. If you look at photos of her now, you would know that her appearance has kind of changed a little bit. Um, but you know, it's still inspiring to see that she's still working. I, she's got a few projects coming up according to IMDb, the Holy Grail. And she also has an adopted daughter, uh, Daisy True from China, and she is adorable. And I think she's just living the single mom life and she's rocking it and she's wonderful and I love her. That's all for today. What Meg Ryan films have you seen and what ones do you recommend? I'd love to watch more. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.